With 150 jokers, 52 consumables, 32 vouchers, and a whole lot more, the scope for wild and wacky combos in Bellatro is immense. Here are some of the potential combos I can't wait to see pulled off. My favorite joker from my time with the 2023 summer playtest was Hit the Road. Filling your deck with jacks to then discard some and play others as needed offered up huge combos. Perkyo now creates a negative copy of your consumables when you leave the shop. So with a Death Tarot, Cryptid Spectral, or even Familiar, the capacity for creating jacks upon jacks is endless and I cannot wait to see it. If financial responsibility is more your cup of tea, perhaps you'd like to see what you can do with the money tree. Available after buying seed money, Money Tree raises your interest cap to $20 a round. Just save up 100 bucks and you'll be earning a free $20 again and again. Hold on to that $20 investment and you can gain an additional plus 8 malt every round with bootstraps, as well as 40 chips every round with bull. Heck, throw in to the moon and you're really off to the races. Oops All Sixes doubles your chances with cards that present you with probabilities. The one I'm most interested in here is Space Joker, which has a 1 in 4 chance to level up your played hand. Throw Oops or Sixes into the mix and those odds become 50-50. So if we can then raise our number of hands to play with stuff like Grabber and Burglar, we could be leveling up High Card or Pair 4 or more times per round. Wild cards count as every suit for the purposes of triggering suit-dependent jokers, in which case Ancient Joker becomes a free multiplier buffet, with any wild card always triggering its effect. Throw in Bloodstone for a one-third chance at even more multiplying, and the wilds will be growing malt on malt. Sprinkle in some re-trigger effects, and there'll be nothing stopping those flames burning. Another legendary appearance here with Tribulae, doubling your malt with every king or queen played. Throw in DNA to make lots of the same king or queen, and then all you need is the idol to send you to the rafters with points. See, the idol picks a card each round to be its trigger card, but it's weighted to the contents of your deck. Have 50% of your deck's volume be the King of Hearts? Then there's a 50% chance the idol will double your malt on a King of Hearts. Prepare for a very large royal family. In a similar vein, what if instead of playing those kings, you just hold on to them? Baron gives a 1.5x multiplier for each king in your hand. Throw in Mime and you can have your in-hand effects trigger twice, escalating your growth even faster. And lastly, I think we've all seen this one coming from miles away, but that doesn't mean I'm any less excited to try it out. Smeared Joker pulls all of your cards into a red suit and a black suit. Four Fingers reduces the number of cards needed to make a straight or a flush down to four, and Shortcut allows one gappers within those straights. Put that all together and it seems like nearly every hand played will be able to trigger Seance's straight flush spawning abilities. That rounds out seven combos I'm excited to pull off. What shenanigans are you most looking forward to? Let me know down in the comments below and maybe we'll revisit some of these ideas soon. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Bellatro and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.